folks, we're back in the car again, waiting for the air conditioning to kick in. It's hot. We just had lunch, a very long lunch, at Buffalo Phil's. Okay, here's what I gotta say first of all. When my kids were younger, they loved this place. Like, Ben didn't really remember, and as we drove in, Ben saw it and goes, oh, I love this place. Here's why little kids love this place. The whole train bringing you your food and the Wild West theming, which it's, it's extensive Wild West theming in there, as you can see, is neat for kids and they think that's fun and cool. I think they're over it. <laughs> I mean, the train thing is still neat. The train thing is still neat. Having your food and drinks brought to you on the train is fun. I even think that's fun. There's only one other restaurant I've been to. It was this little restaurant in Seattle that we went to one time in like 1999 that the train, your food was brought to you on the train and we thought that was really cool. But that is very appealing and neat. I had significant anxiety about the cleanliness in there. It didn't feel the cleanest. There's a lot of stuff in there that I can tell is just going to be dusty. That how they keep that place clean and sanitary. Uh, they had the plexiglass up between the booths, which is good. And they have social safety markers. Aside from the people in the next booth, which we had the plexiglass between us, everybody was a, a good long distance away from us. And it turned out that the room we were in was the quiet room. And that was kind of weird. So it, they built this new Lego city, which I showed you, in the back room. And so that is now seems to be the more popular area. I walked you through there and you saw Knuckleheads, which is like a arcade parties. You know, there were party rooms in there. There used to be a big kids climbing structure that they've apparently taken out. And I don't know where the bowling is. There's supposed to be bowling, but I don't know where it is. It might have been in a part I didn't go in. I'm not sure. Two things that are pretty negative. So the theming is really good if you really like that Wild West theming. And the train thing is fun. Two major negatives. One, I don't really care for the menu. You guys? If you're a vegetarian or vegan, you don't want to come here. There's basically nothing. There's a vegetarian pizza. That's about it. There's, it's very meat heavy menu. The portions are too big and it just, the, the fries were really good. Yeah, the, fries the, fries were, were the fries were terrific. They were really good peel on fries. They were terrific. The rest of it. Oh, well you liked your sandwich, didn't you Meg? I liked it, but again, it was just kind of too much. Megan got the turkey panini, and she said it was good. It was yummy, but it was too much for her. Hers came with chips. Did you eat any of your chips? I ate quite a bit of my chips, but again, there were so many. So that many, it yeah. Didn't look like it. Ben got macaroni and cheese and fries. Oh, I guess that was kind of vegetarian. Yeah. How was the mac and cheese? Fine. Well, maybe a little too. Much. But he like I think he liked the fries the best. And then um, I got pulled rotisserie chicken and then he gave me barbecue sauce and I put some barbecue sauce on it. It was fine, but again, it was just massive, this sandwich. I could barely hold it up. And so I ate like one fourth of it. And then I had this heaping thing of fries, which Megan and I basically split. So, and we didn't want to stay in there any longer to get dessert because the other negative was that the service was very slow. And I mean, just like, we waited an excessively long time for him to come and take our order. You know, they, they seated us and they brought us our menus right away, but, and he came over and took our drink order right away. And then he like disappeared for like 20 minutes and didn't come back and take our order. That was the longest stretch. The train brought our drinks, the train brought our food. That was fairly timely. But then again, like I had to try to catch him walking by to ask for my barbecue sauce. I had to catch him walking by to ask for extra napkins because he wasn't stopping to check on us. And then the only reason he brought us the check was because we literally stood up and looked like we were gonna leave. And I'm like, can I have the check? And he's like, yeah. And then he he took my card and brought it back 
really quick. But we were in there longer than I was comfortable with. We, we specifically chose this place for lunch today because we didn't want to eat outside because it's very sunny and hot outside today. And this place is big. We knew this place was big inside and it has a lot of space. So we were fairly confident that we could be spaced away from other people, which we were. So, and we literally only took our masks off to eat and put them back on. It still didn't, wasn't exactly what I would like, but there's a lot of other places to eat around here, but they're all very small. You know, like Panera and Noodles and Denny's and stuff like that. And they're all small interior spaces and I wouldn't feel as safe eating somewhere like that as we did. This, this place is very big inside. So that was our experience at Buffalo Phil's. Kids love it. So if you have kids, there were a lot of little kids in there. A lot of, of them not wearing masks. Yeah, a lot of families. This is owned by the same people that own the Moose Jaw Brew Pub. I showed you the little uh, delivery vehicle with the buffalo on top. Moose Jaw has a whole fleet of delivery because they're pizza. Moose Jaw is pizza and a brew pub. We've eaten there in the past too and they have a whole bunch of vehicles with mo moose on top that are kind of fun. That place, again, I don't think we cared for the menu too much and it smells like beer because they're making beer there. So if you don't care for that, you, you know, wouldn't like that either. But owned by the same people, run kind of the same. Popular restaurants in Wisconsin Dells, large capacity. There were a couple of big groups in there. So if you have a big group, that's a good place to go. And that's about all we have to say about that. So thank you everyone for joining us. Hope this was a helpful video for you. If you are considering uh, eating at Buffalo Phil's, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up down below. Thanks everyone, safe travels. Safe travels. Safe travels.